that in life you will see many ups and downs, many difficulties, many situations, many conditions. Good news, bad news. Someone being elected, someone not being elected. Someone looking at the behavior of, another, of an individual seems like things will go difficult, things will go against the wishes. Things will go in a very chaotic manner. All of these situations that we see, and as we just finished the election period, and it was a devastating news for so many of the people in regards to its elections and so on and so forth, and this is the reality that we all have to accept. And some of them think, well, you know, what's going to happen in the future? How we are going to take care of this situation? Worrying about our own children, the future of, their chil of, of, our, of our own children. Looks like a very bleak future. All of these things, brothers and, res uh, brothers and sisters, these are the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because at the end of the day, First thing we need to submit to that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created human beings and has not made believers left alone in this world. This decision was made before the demise of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in fact, any time and any place when we hear or when we see that situation will collectively, situations and conditions will collectively come upon the ummah. These are the messages that needs to be reflected on and lessons needs to be derived from these messages. 46.9% people did not even vote. They didn't ever vote in the whole community. 46.9% people, this is almost half of the country. And then from that other half, we break it down. <coughs> but Allah said, if the whole humanity goes against you, and Allah wants to benefit you, they cannot harm you. Vice versa, if the whole humanity wants to benefit you, and you might think that this is a benefit, but if Allah wants to harm you, they cannot benefit you in any way. And that's what the qadr that Allah Azza wa Jal has given us to have this faith. Because ifs always open the doors of shaitan. Because if a person thinks, oh, well, how is going to happen? What if, if, if this happened this way, then it's going to happen this way? No. You have to do your part. You have to contribute from your side. This is the time, as I said, this is a wake-up call for all of us. To get involved. Civic involvement. Community involvement. Volunteering. Giving the right image. That tomorrow, another individual stands up for you. Like Ibn Daguna stood up for Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Why? Because you serve the community. You give back to the community. You help the community. You are there for them in the times of difficulties. How many times? Because remember, it's not just the minorities have been, you know, the Muslims have been given that picture or they have been targeted. No. There are other communities that have been targeted also. How much were we there for them? That's the question. The other minorities, they were targeted also in many ways, and they are being targeted. But how much were we there for them? Because we only think that if it comes my way, I have to worry about it. You know, if you don't distinguish, distinguish the fire that is next door to you, eventually it gets to you. If you don't make the effort of distinguish the, distinguishing, distinguishing the fire that is next door to you, eventually it gets to you. So that, needs, that, that, that heart needs to wake up. More involvement needs to take place. More effort. Being there, educating our children, 
making them part of the society, involving them in efforts and works, considering themselves as, as, as part of the society because we have to accept it. And never to think, oh, I'm going to hide my name or I'm going to hide this or I'm... No. Allah has given you an honor and dignity. Things will change. Difficulties will come. But those who stand up to those times and challenges, Allah's help and mercy is with them. الَّذِينَ قَالَ لَهُمُ النَّاسُ إِنَّ النَّاسَ قَدْ جَمَعُوا لَكُمْ فَخْشَوْهُمْ فَزَادَهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ Allah asks, Allah mentions about the people of, of, of the battles of, of Uhud. After, they, after the battle of Uhud finished, they were told that the army has doubled and they're coming again. And when they heard this news, and these people are telling them to fear them because now they're going to finish you. Now they're going to make difficulties upon you. Now they're going to make you into slaves. فَزَادَهُمْ imana. By hearing the devastating news, their faith increased. And what did they say? وَقَالُوا Allah says, حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلُ Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best of caretaker. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best of caretaker. And this is the dua to be recited at the time when you feel fearful and when you are losing hope. Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best of caretaker.